South Carolina State Fair. I'm here with Amarilla, who's another FFA student, and she's going to be showing her hosting later this week at the yes, fair. So how long have you had your heifer? I've had her since last year in April. That's when the kickoff started for the Clemson uh -huh. 4-H project. Yeah. And so I'm going to be selling her on Friday. Oh, that's kind of sad. Yes, ma'am. Well, you, you'll make a profit probably? Uh, it'll be close. Yeah. All yeah. the feed you put into it and everything. Right, but you so. have to keep a record of, of what you've been doing all year with your yes, with animal. Mm -hmm. That's right. So tell me about showing. Have you been? What do you have to do in order to get prepared to go in the show ring? Well, you do clip them, and then you have the top line on, them, make their back straight and everything, and then you make sure they're all neat and clean, and then you learn yeah. that. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, she got up on that one. <laughs> all right, what's your cow's name? Feather. Feather. All right. This one must be get out of the way. <laughs> okay. And so you were saying you clip? Yes, ma'am. You clip them and you wash them and then you clean all their ears out and then you learn their birthday and their sire and their dam. Right. Their pedigree. Yes, so the judge will be talking. You have to make kind of a presentation about your animal. Yes, So you learn showmanship skills, speaking skills. Yes, ma'am. Well, being an FFA is just a great uh, experience. You won't realize all the things you've learned till later in life. I'm really proud of y'all for you. participating. And this is just such a great experience. And they're really doing exactly what we want to do with the profile of the graduate. It's not, it's about content skills, but it's also about building character yes, and life skills. And you learn all those kinds of things through FFA. So congratulations. Yes,